Small business owners in Saginaw are learning about new resources provided by the state. That is thanks to a town hall event hosted by Representative Amos O'Neill. And our David Sackrider was there and shows us how you can take advantage. Today's town hall was about connecting small businesses with the many resources available to them here in the state of Michigan. Resources that go beyond just cash. Small businesses is an engine to uh, just uh, any community. And so you have a lot of businesses starting and they fail. They start and they fail. And what we found in that whole process is it's either one or two things. They don't have the technical support and then they don't have the financial backing. That technical support includes physical places to work through the CMU Research Corporation and access to experts from the Small Business Development Center. If we can't help you with filing the patent for any of that, but Jim and his team will help make sure all your drawings are set up and, and get things set. Even if you aren't sure where to start, organizations like the Michigan Economic Development Corporation are willing to help you plan and find the right grants to apply for. So it was, uh, you know, one of the things I really thanked the, the, the business owners uh, for being patient uh, and working with us through accessing all of these tools because sometimes it can be complicated. And with more development coming to Saginaw, Representative O'Neill says now is as good as time as any to start a business. So you're going to have the, the, you know, the medical diamond with CMU Medical School, with, with CMU Student Downtown. So that's going to generate uh, a need for more businesses. And so I think this is a great opportunity for us to start these conversations, get people in place where they can thrive and be a part of the whole uh, renaissance, if you will, and uh, not get left behind. For more information about those resources, you can find a link attached to the story on ABC12.com. In Saginaw, David Sackreiter, ABC12 News.